And this is Brayden, and we're going to be your self-defense instructors for the next eight weeks. Um, first of all, uh, congratulations for coming out and giving it a go. Um, I know sometimes it takes a lot of courage and a bit of effort to come out and try something different, so, so well done there. And um, some of you did the course with me last term, and you've come back for some more punishment, so that's good to see as well. All right, now, with this course, it is a beginner course, and it's all about giving you some ideas and some skills to help you protect yourself if something ever happens. Hopefully it never happens, it never happens, but if it does, at least you'll have that skill and that knowledge to know what to do, what to do to prevent something from going wrong, okay? Uh, it's gonna be working at your own pace, okay? So, because I don't know most of you here, I don't know if you have any injuries or illnesses that you may not be able to do certain things. So do what you can. If you need to go and sit down and rest for a while, that's no problems as well, okay? If you need a drink break, we'll have a couple of drink breaks, but if you need a, an extra break or you need to go to the bathroom, I think the bathrooms are just out there on your left, um, feel free to do so, okay? Uh, questions, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me questions any time. I'll try to answer them. If I don't know, I'll try and get back to you, okay? But before we begin, has anyone got any questions or anything before we start? No? Okay, all right, so let's get into it, guys. We're just going to loosen up. So interlock your fingers and just reach up for the sky on your toes. Make yourself as high as possible. And just make some big circles going forwards. Yep, spread out as required. Backwards. Okay, both hands facing up. And right hand going forward, left hand going backwards. <laughs> so if I'm confusing you, that's good. All right, try the other way. Left hand forward, right hand back. And let's go to easy. Bend the elbows, straighten them. And just twisting from side to side. Okay, hands on your hips, make some circles. That's so good. Other way. <laughs> okay, just push your hips forwards and just bending forwards and then coming back. Okay, just pulling one arm across, going from side to side. Okay, grabbing your foot. And just pulling it forwards and back. <laughs> and swap legs. Hi, just join in if you want. Sorry. That's all right. Okay, all right, that'll do. Okay, so we're going to get into it before we do. Just have a quick warm up day, just to uh, go for us a little bit. Uh, what I want you to do right now is to pick somebody in this room. Yeah. G'day guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this morning I'm at my uh, good friend I've known for oh, probably close to 45 years and we're at the Clayton Church of Christ in Burton Avenue, Clayton. and. Um, uh, my good old friend Cliff, uh, he's a sensei, he's a master uh, in martial arts, has been for oh, quite a few decades, very modest man. He's, uh, he's running a clinic for um, self-defence and that is uh, purely and utterly for, as I mentioned, self-defence, nothing else. Uh, it is a sport as well, so um, yeah, he's running a clinic. So this morning I'm... Uh, getting back into it. It's a long time since I've been back into martial arts. I, I was in martial arts as a, as a, a younger bloke. I attended many, many tournaments. Uh, I think I graded purple belt from memory, um, but that's irrelevant. Uh, this is more uh, about Cliff and what he's doing in the community. So uh, come along for the ride. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, the clinic uh, it goes for eight weeks. Try and get uh, quite a bit of information. Uh, I won't be filming every single bit of it, and I'll have some links in the description of uh, Cliff's uh, dojo and the schools and everything he runs. And if you're interested, please contact him. He's only too uh, glad to help. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if you like. And uh, it helps the algorithm and enjoy your day. Over and out. Thank you. Thank you. 
towards him. So we do a position called something that separates you and your neighbor. A fence. A fence. So we put a fence between myself and the opponent. Now is a fence perfect? No. You can still climb over the fence, you can go through the fence, you can go around the fence, okay? But it's better than nothing, okay? So we put a position like this, which basically tells the person, stop, stay away from me, I want peace, okay? But if it comes at me, at least I've got my hands ready to protect. Okay, so that's the main thing. All right, so what we're gonna do with our partners right now, we're just gonna go into our fence position and he's gonna kind of start talking some things to me, but at the same time, he's gonna throw a punch, okay? So shall will grab the uh, pad? All right. So Brandon's gonna be here and we're just gonna move around. If I get close to him, he needs to stay two arms distance away from me all the time. Okay, now I'm going to launch a hook punch to him and he's going to do what we call a triangular defense. Okay, so as I do it slowly, he's going to place one hand on his head and one hand on his wrist. And this way, he's going to protect himself there. Okay, if I go straight, he's also got the triangle as well to protect him as well. If I come on this side, he'll adjust his arms to go to this side. Okay, so Braden comes up to me and I've got my fence position. So randomly, he's just going to throw some strikes, and I'm going to protect. If he switches his hands, I know to go to the other side. Okay? All right. Now, how do we know whether the bad guy is a right-handed or left-handed person? He stands. Exactly right. Okay? So, if I'm standing like this right now, which hand am I going to use to hit you with? Right. Okay? Because I'm going to wind myself up and swing it. Okay? 
We're looking for somebody who's basically not trained, okay? Just a, somebody on the street who's maybe had a bad day and they've come in, they're winding up, and they're coming for the big punch, okay? If I'm left-handed, I'm going to have my left leg back, okay? And you can see it, all right? What else can you tell apart from the stance? Eyes. Yes, my eyes. What else? Positioning of my hands. Yeah, positioning of my hands. Maybe I'm clenching my fist, ready to attack. Uh, what else could I do to let you know that I'm going to, I'm going to punch him? So Emilio I said eyes. What about if I turn around and look behind me? I have to check if there's anyone checking. Any yeah, I'm looking for witnesses, maybe looking for cameras or security or police before I do something, okay? So I want you to do some of these things to the person, maybe look behind you, clench your fist, pull your shoulders back. Always look at the shoulders more than the hands because the shoulder moves first, okay? Now, with a triangular position, I want everyone just to go into a fence position right now. Generally, if you're right handed, you want to have your left leg forwards and your right leg back. Anybody here left handed? He doesn't want to admit it. <laughs> no, I'm not for writing, not with. Ah, uh, you want to write, eh? Yeah, okay. You know, anybody here left handed? Okay, so basically, most people are right handed, so I like to practice on the right side, but you've got to also practice on the left side because you might have bad luck one day and get attacked by a left handed person, okay? So, left leg forward, left hand forwards. Roughly your toe and heel is in line, and your knee slightly bent. So, you want to be in that ready position. But you want to project that you don't want to fight, okay? No use doing some sort of karate stance like 